Welcome! The following video will demonstrate how to program the 2GIG wireless smoke heat and freeze detector smoke detection feature into a 2GIG GC2 panel. The wireless smoke heat and freeze detector has three separate features, which include the ability to detect smoke, excessive heat, and excessive cold. Each individual feature must be programmed separately as its own zone. To program the smoke detection feature into a security zone, you will first need to access the installer toolbox. Press the 2GIG logo on your GC2 panel screen. Enter the installer code. The default installer code for the GC2 is 1561. You are now in the installer toolbox. To access zone programming, press System Configuration. You'll see Q1, select RF sensor number, 01 to 48 comma 63 to 74 displayed in the upper ribbon of the screen. System configuration is navigated via questions and sub-questions. Wireless zones are programmed in Q1, so we're already on the correct question for wireless devices. First you will choose the zone number for the smoke detection feature. Note, the word sensor and zone are interchangeable. In this training, We'll use the term zone number. By default, we're already on the correct sub-question to select the zone number. The white field is called the answer box. 01 will display in the answer box by default, which means we've selected zone number 1. If you would like to change the zone number, press the right arrow to scroll through other options, or type the desired number in using the number keys on screen. You will see the new selection appear in the answer box. Once the desired zone number displays in the answer box, press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Select the sensor type. There are two ways to change the sensor type. Option 1. Press the right arrow until 24-hour fire displays on screen. Option 2. Use the on-screen keypad to type 0, 9, which is the two-digit code for the 24-hour fire sensor type. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Select the equipment code. Press the right arrow until 2GIG smoke detector displays in the answer box. You can also type the four-digit code, which is 1, 0, 5, 8, to select this option. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Next, input the serial number for the smoke heat and freeze detector. You will find the serial number on the detector's box labeled as a TXID number. The number is also shown on a sticker on the detector itself. Remove the detector from its mounting base by twisting the detector counterclockwise. You will then see a sticker with the TXID number. You can either add the serial number with the panel's on-screen keyboard, or add it in wirelessly. If you choose to add the serial number wirelessly, first insert the battery, if you have not done so already, and then attach the mounting base and turn it clockwise to secure. Press Shift, then Learn. You will see a message that the panel is waiting for the sensor transmission. Trigger the sensor. Twist the detector counterclockwise to remove the mounting base. You will see the confirmation message and ID number on screen. Note, the panel will register any sensor within range, so you will need to make sure the ID number shown on screen matches the serial number, or TXID, of the detector you are adding. If the ID numbers do not match, press Learn once more and trigger the detector again. Press OK as soon as the correct ID number displays on screen. You will see the serial TXID number in the answer box. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Select the equipment age. Since this is a new 2GIG contact, leave the selection as zero new. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Next, select the loop number. Select Loop 1 for the smoke detection feature. We will not be using Loops 2 and 3, as these are reserved for the heat and freeze functions. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. 
choose whether to enable or disable the dialer delay. The dialer delay is used to help prevent false alarms. To enable the dialer delay, use the right arrow to select option 1. To disable the dialer delay, leave option 0 disabled. Once the desired option displays in the answer box, press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Next, add the voice descriptors. Press Insert. The word abort will automatically appear in the answer box. Change the word by either using the right and left arrow buttons, or by typing the word's three-digit code using the keyboard. For a list of all voice descriptors and their associated codes, see the Installation and Programming Guide. To add another word, press Insert again, and repeat the steps just discussed. You can add up to five words. Once the desired word or words displays in the answer box, press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Next, choose whether or not to send reports to the central monitoring station. If you would like reports related to the smoke detection feature to be sent to the central station, select One Enabled. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Next, decide whether or not you want the panel to monitor supervisory signals of the carbon monoxide detector, such as low battery, tamper, and more. Select One Enabled to activate this feature. Press the down arrow to go to the next sub-question. Lastly, select the chime. For the smoke, heat, and freeze detector, you will want to leave the chime at the default option which is disabled. Press the down arrow to go to the summary page. Review the summary page to ensure all information is correct. Review all answers. If you need to edit any of the information, press Edit Current. To exit programming mode and save your changes, press Skip. Then press End. The option to save changes is selected by default. Finally, press Exit. The system will automatically save the new information, and the panel will reboot. The 2GIG Wireless Smoke Heat and Freeze Detectors Smoke Detection feature has now been programmed into the 2GIG GC2 panel. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.